Ruby Frankie throws Jody Hildebrandt under the bus, basically trying to put all the blame on Jody. Man, we already saw this same act before. Are we really that surprised? We got to talk about this mess. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Pascal back at it again with another pop up video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias, The Pascal Show. One word, hit that like button down below. And let's not forget to crush that subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Facebook, please be sure to crush that follow button on my Facebook page if this is your first time checking out this channel, right? Yeah. Yeah, anyway, we already know the story about Ruby Frankie, Jody Hildebrandt, the chaos, the craziness that's been revolving around this situation of this CA. We got to use these. Code words, but the CA charges that they are both looking at right now, and then some, okay? It, it's pretty wild, okay? But now we have some new information, which I want to show you guys this, this uh, title right here really quick. And you, you could see she is entering a guilty plea deal. Like, apparently she's entering a guilty plea for a deal. I don't know what that deal is. Uh, I've looked around. I have not yet seen anything what she's going to get. Maybe obviously it's going to be some sort of a lesser charge, but hopefully they keep her locked up for a long time. But during this time, her team, her her lawyers have come out and they had some things to say in a statement. And in this statement, on behalf of Ruby, she's basically throwing Jody Hildebrandt completely under the bus, basically saying it's all her. It's her fault in all that. But one thing I want to say before we go into this or this little statement and all that, I just want to point out, as soon as she got arrested, they had a hearing. When she had her first court appearance, she tried to throw her own kids under the bus. I just want to make that abundantly clear. She tried to put blame on her children before this statement came out, before she even tried to throw Jody Hildebrandt under the bus. She was trying to throw her own kids under the bus. So to me, is this her having a moment of clarity or is this just another attempt on trying to get the court a little bit more on her side, getting some more sympathy on her side? I throw those questions out to you as we get into this article. Of course, I'm going to react to a little bit of it because there's a lot to say here. OK, but it says Winward Law is taking is making a statement. Let me blow this up for you guys. On behalf of Ruby Frankie, regarding the pending charges in the Washington County 5th District, along with her thoughts about her current family situation. And I, don't worry, I'm going to be putting in my two cents here a lot. Our client is working with the prosecutor's office and anticipates resolving this matter quickly by entering a plea agreement with the court on Monday. So this coming Monday, just in a, just a few days from now, all right? She's supposed to be walking into a courtroom, and I guess we're going to see how things transpire because Monday, everything goes down for, for Ruby, okay? So Ruby Frankie is a devoted mother and is also a woman committed to constant improvement. Ugh. I got a lot of I got a lot of pushback on I'm, 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 I, I have to challenge that a little bit, okay? What kind of improvement? The way you were raising your children was not improvement, okay? Uh, devoted mother, I don't look at you having kids, you know, in the ways that they were. I don't see that as signs and examples of pure motherly devotion. I'm sorry, I disagree. Initially, Miss Frankie believed that Jody Hildebrandt, here it comes, they believed that Jody Hildebrandt had the insight to offer a path to continual improvement. Ms. Hildebrandt took advantage of this quest and twisted it, in, twisted it into something heinous. Over an extended period, Ms. Hildebrandt systematically isolated Ruby Frankie from her extended family, older children, and her husband, Kevin Frankie. This prolonged isolation resulted in Ms. Frankie being subjected to a distorted sense of morality shaped by Ms. Hildebrandt's Influence. Now, let me just say this. All right. We already know that connections. We already know the story about connections and how it has a cultish like uh, vibe. All right. And sure, there's something about a guru or one of those, you know, leaders, uh, uh, you know, it, there's something about them having that vibe of manipulating 
influence influencing people to do things that they may not have done under other circumstances but at the same time you are still willingly saying yes to the treatment to your children you are still willingly saying yes to how you know your how she was treating Ruby Frankie's husband. You see what I'm saying? And also, I want to point out, there was already red flags being brought up before Jody even walked into Ruby's life about how Ruby Frankie and her husband were raising and disciplining their children. It was plastered all over their vlogs all day long, and it became a center of serious conversations by other YouTubers and other reporters alike. So for me, I'm going, okay, you already had A, okay, okay, because we got to use these code words. You had a lot of A going on way before Jody Hildebrandt even stepped in the building. Okay, let's continue. During Ruby Frankie's incarceration in Washington County Jail over the past few months, she has actively engaged in an introspection in an introspection that has allowed her to reset her moral compass and understand the weight of her actions. It doesn't matter. It's too late. Okay, it's too late. Those kids did not deserve what happened. That introspection should have happened before. It should not even have happened, to be really honest. She should have known but the difference between what right and wrong, period, point blank. I'm going to keep going. Okay. Miss Frankie is committed to taking responsibility for the, for the part she played in the events leading up to her incarceration, demonstrating a sincere uh, dedication, demonstrating a sincere dedication to personal growth and rehabilitation. She has actively begun the process by reaching out to members of her family through heartfelt apologies. She seeks to mend relationships and contribute positively to healing to the healing journey of her family. Let me say this too. Healing journey with her family, all I got to say is she better be doing that healing from behind bars. I don't think she should be ever be anywhere near those children or have full custody of those children ever again. She allowed those things to happen. Why? Why? Like, And I get the lawyers, this is their job. They're getting paid to do this ish, you know, to to fight for their client and all that. But I'm telling you right now, no, none of this. If I was the judge, none of this is going to fly. T to me, she knew what was going on. She gave Jody, and she even did it herself. She gave even herself the thumbs up. She allowed these things to continue. Okay, allowed it, and she was a part of it. She contributed to those kids' pain. Period. Moving on. Ruby is aware that Kevin Frankie, her husband, who has also uh, filed for divorce, just so you know, he is filing for divorce. OK, and some people think he's filing for divorce because, well, he's trying to get custody of his kids and he doesn't want and he wants to show the court that he has nothing to do with what Ruby and Jody did. And he's trying to separate himself from that. But at the same time, he may be divorcing her because he realized, oh, my Lord. The veil has been lifted. This woman is a monster, and my wife was a part of that, too, and she's a monster, too, and I want nothing to do with that. So that could be the other reason why he's just filing for divorce. And I say, hey, you're lucky you ain't even behind bars, too, Kevin. Moving on. While she's devastated by the, this news, she acknowledges and understands his anger and reasoning. Despite the pain, she respects his decisions and remains hopeful that with time, she can contribute to a rebuilding trust and fostering understanding within her family. Ruby has offered her full cooperation to help the ch children re reunite with their father. All right. So the Windward Law recognizes the profound love that Miss Frankie holds for her children. And we are genuinely saddened that she found herself on this challenging path under the influence of Miss Hildebrandt. It is our firm belief that Miss Frankie is a devoted mother who unfortunately was led astray. 
she was not let, I mean, ah, she's not led astray. She was saying yes to all this stuff. She allowed these things to happen. I'm sorry, what land do you live in where you think it's okay to not give your children food? What land do you think it's okay? What world do you live in where you think it's okay to, to you know, put them in, in, in situations. You see what I'm saying? Okay. I got to use code words and, and lock them in a basement or put them in a safe or wherever they were in. You see what I'm saying? What world do you live in where you think that those things are okay? You let that be okay. You were not led astray. You were with it all day long and you were all about it. You were contributing into the connections. You were a co-host on her YouTube videos. You were putting out all this stuff. No, you were not led astray. You were a part of the problem. That's what I think. But moving on, she is sincere in her commitment to securing the best possible future for her family. And we remain hopeful with the right support and understanding, she can navigate a path of healing and growth. All right, guys, let me just say this. To me, I see BS. I say this is BS in my personal opinion. You got a person who was all about this for years. And before, I, I'm going to repeat myself again, but before Jody Hildebrandt even waltzed into her life, she was already implementing some very questionable ways of, of punishing or disciplining her children. So that stuff was already ingrained in her already. And then Jody just hopped on in and started adding more to it. And she said, yeah, do more, do more, do more. To the point where you get a the moment where their little kid crawls out of a window, climbs out of a window, runs next door, trying to find refuge. And you got a grown man calling 911 crying because of how emaciated that little kid is. I'm sorry. You're telling me you were led astray? No. You were leading the pack. You are part of the whole thing. You and her were partners in this crime, in the many crimes that you were doing against your kids. I'm sorry. I get it. You got to write this so that maybe the judge can have a little bit of heart and understanding for you. But I'm sorry. Any judge who reads this is not going to sit there and go, well, you know, maybe. No. You're telling me you're, you've you been locked up for three months in, in prison and suddenly you've changed? You a changed woman? I call BS on that. I say you are trying to find everything and anything you can to get out of that jail cell. I'm telling you, this is BS. That's just what I think. But I just don't like when somebody's trying to do everything they can. She walked into her first appearance, her first court appearance, and she was blaming her kids. Now she's trying to blame Jody, her partner in all of this. I say you let me know what you think, guys. What say you? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you think this will suffice? Do you think the judge is going to sit there and have a change of heart because she's just been locked up for a few months? You think she really changed her ways in just that little bit of time? Or no? Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. I say make sure she's locked up for good because that's exactly what she deserves, in my personal opinion. No woman should ever be doing that to their children. No parent should ever do that to their children. She should never have her opportunity to be around her children ever again. And that's just my thoughts. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Hit that like button down below. Don't forget to crush that subscribe button. And most definitely, if you're watching on Facebook, hit that follow button on my Facebook page. It'd be great to have you a part of the Pascal Show family on both platforms. Anyway, guys, it's time to get going. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. And I'll see you guys in the next video. This is the Pascal Show. Bye. P-A-S-C-A-L. You are now rocking with that dude, Pascal. We be going wild.